this year. There is going to be an interesting, important and rare astronomical event. It's an annular solar eclipse. I would like to talk about certain myths associated with uh, solar eclipses. Uh, eclipses have uh, fascinated human beings for ages, uh, culturally and uh, mythically, in, in terms of stories, in terms of uh, religious uh, uh, stories. Uh, <clears throat> particularly when people saw that uh, the bright sun gets uh, eclipsed by an object, they think uh, since since the day becomes almost like light, uh, night, and the light goes down, uh, it it created some sort of a fear among people. So they came up with different stories like there are giants uh, who would come and gulp the sun. As we know, uh, I would like to clear some of the myths. Uh, eclipses are nothing but a game of shadows. So there is sun, there is earth and there is moon. And solar eclipse in particular, if the moon comes in, in between sun and earth, the moon's shadow comes on sun. So from some parts of earth, we, could not, we will not be able to see the sun. And that, is a, that is just what an eclipse is. And there is nothing more to it. Uh, th there are more myths about the uh, eclipse, like uh, one should not cook during eclipses because there might be more bacteria due to the absence of sunlight. This is also a myth. It has been uh, claimed scientifically to be a myth for a long time. Uh, it, it is because there is no extra, uh, uh, extra the lack of extra sunlight is not going to make your food uh, get contaminated by bacteria. If that was the case, then one should never eat at night because then in the evening you should not eat, there is no sunlight. Uh, a second and most important thing is they tell you not to go out of the house, you should stay in indoor and because you will be exposed to some kind of harmful radiation. This is also a myth because when the sun is fully uh, exposed, it is giving all sorts of radiation and during eclipse the moon is in front of sun and you. So it's it is actually blocking the sun rather than exposing it, uh, ra rather than exposing it more, hence you are not going to be exposed to any harmful radiation. So you should go out with your family. Since this is a very important event, you should not miss it. With a small caveat, uh, uh, a caution you should have in mind that uh, if you look at the sun directly during an eclipse, when the sun is almost eclipsed, then the light, the sunlight, the intensity of the light will be quite low. So your eye pupils will be dilated to, uh, to take more light inside. And then suddenly when the moon moves, uh, away from the sun, you would see uh, the bright sun directly and your since your pupils are dilated, you are going to get a lot of sunlight into your eyes which might dam damage your eye. So you should go out with your family, with your friends, look at the sun using some protective glasses or other aids or maybe reflect the sun on a water and watch it and do not miss it. It's an important event. If you do watch the uh, solar eclipse and photograph it by some way, do share it uh, with, with public and the media and spread uh, science and facts and stop spreading superstition. I hope this would help.